Welcome to this video for revisionmaths.com for Revision World TV. In this video, I'll be explaining arithmetic number sequences, looking for the patterns in the sequence, and finding the nth term in the number sequence. So let's start with this number sequence, which contains the terms 5, 8, 11, 14, and 17. We use the word term to simply mean the number in the sequence. Looking at the sequence, we can see the difference between 5 and 8 is plus 3, and the difference between 8 and 11 is also plus 3. And if we do the same for the rest of the sequence, we can see the pattern continues to be plus 3, so we are adding 3 each time. To give you another example, I'm going to show you another number sequence. This sequence contains the terms 25, 21, 17, 13, and 9. If we go along the sequence, we can see the difference between each term is minus 4, so the pattern for this sequence is subtracting 4. The two examples I've shown you where we're either adding or subtracting a certain amount each time are called arithmetic sequences. These sequences can be identified as we're adding or subtracting by the same amount each time. In maths, we call the number they change by the common difference. For the bottom sequence, as the common difference is negative, we would describe the common difference of minus 4 as being added each time. So now let's move on to look at how we'd write an expression for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Let's take the following sequence as an example. 4, 7, 10, 13 and 16. As you can see, the common difference is 3, as plus 3 is being added each time. This sequence can be represented by the following expression, 3n plus 1. The reason we use this expression is that it allows us to find any term in this sequence. If we look at our example, we can see that 4 is the first term, 7 is the second term, 10 is the third term, and so on. We can use the letter n to represent the term. So the first term, n equals 1, and the second term, n equals 2, etc. So let's look for the fourth term in this sequence. We are looking for the term n equals 4. So we need to put the number 4 into our expression. So we would start the expression like this. 3 times 4 plus 1. This equals 13. So the fourth term in our sequence is 13. Now for this sequence we can easily look this up just by looking at the sequence. But for bigger terms, say the 20th term, we can't just look at our sequence. So we need to work out the term using the expression. So 3 times 20 plus 1 equals 61. So the 20th term is therefore 61. So how do you work out what numbers to use in the expression? Firstly, we need to find the common difference. In this case, the numbers are being added each time, so the difference is plus 3. We then take this common difference and place the letter n beside it, so we get 3n. So to find out what's being added or subtracted, we need to find the previous term to the first number in the sequence. The first number of this sequence is 4, so we subtract 3 from this to give us plus 1. We then include this term in our expression, so we now have the expression 3n plus 1. Remember, you can find more videos from Revision Maths on this channel, Revision World TV. You can also get notes and free maths resources on revisionmaths.com. If you found this video useful, give us a like and remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.